Yo, what's up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. It's reaction time, y'all. Yes, yes, it is, but it's not just a reaction. It's more of a reaction discussion time right now, y'all. Y'all read the thumbnail. We're about to dip into some new territories right now. Okay. Now, see, a lot of y'all don't know behind the scenes, you know, when we just chilling or prepping before we get on video and stuff like that, we be watching other videos and we be talking about different topics, you know what I mean, from Greek mythology to action movies and uh uh political takes and just everything like we just yeah, i mean we, we, we older guys now you know Facts. what i mean so there's a lot of stuff going on so i was like you know what current events current events yeah let's put some let's put a little of that spin on the channel let's see what's going on because this is called j3 entertainment and there, there is no limit to where we can't go there it mm -hmm. is you know what i mean yeah so ronan yes. what are we about to react to what if dinosaur extinction didn't happen 65 million years ago? 65 million years ago. Man, yep. shout out to that. That's that's deep. The title yep. has me sold. I'm ready for this. Yeah, that's a deep that's a deep uh, discussion right there because uh, I think we all have simple answers. Yep. But then we also can have some complex answers. Yeah. So uh, before we do that, let's take a look at this video. All right. All right. Welcome let's to these... Jurassic Life. <laughs> let's get these headphones on, man. All right, you gentlemen ready? Please. Are we in a DeLorean or a phone booth? Which one? <laughs> Glory. Glory. All right, sit back. Well, somebody ain't gonna be able to ride in it. I ain't sitting in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Great Scott. All right, uh, I'm in the phone booth. Y'all can drive the DeLorean. For sure. For All sure. right, back. Let me dial this in. I'm going back. <laughs> 65 million years ago. There it is. Here we go. We're gonna start this thing right now. Humanity has existed on the planet for about 300,000 years. We he ain't survived lying. many wars, nuclear bombings, famines, and deadly pandemics. Now, that right there scares me because he said we survived, mm -hmm. but they're saying there's more. I mean, more to come. I believe it. Survival instincts, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Man, what scares me is what scares me is fungus. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all saw Last of Us. But what if we were on Earth 200 million years ago? Most modern threats to humans didn't yet exist then. However, there was something worse than a hydrogen bomb and incurable diseases. Dinosaurs. What would we do in a world full of huge lizards? Simple question. What would we do? Run. <laughs> hunt. Or learn to hunt. Something. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you have to adapt. You have to adapt to the environment. We got dinosaurs yeah. everywhere. Yeah. But first, you got to run. <laughs> you mm. got to get away first. I, I don't even know. And right? Then, could communication be a factor too? Like, a, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Could we have lasted even a day on the planet during the Jurassic I think we period? Forget everything you learned about dinosaurs and this era from Steven Spielberg movies. Okay. Okay. Today, we're going to face the truth from a scientific point of view. Let's go. If modern humans found themselves in the Jurassic period, they wouldn't recognize the Earth. At that time, everything looked different, mm -hmm. and even the position of the continents was different. Pangaea had just <laughs> begun to split in two, like changing the climate and allowing the planet's population to grow. And in every sense, it was during the Jurassic period that dinosaurs became the dominant species. It was only their mass extinction that helped mammals get ahead, which eventually led to the appearance of humans. But that's still a long way off. The main goal of humans in the Jurassic period would be to not get eaten. The well-known Tyrannosaurus Rex was able to accelerate up to 72 kilometers per hour. That's 45 miles per hour. Damn, and wow. this at a weight of 14 tons. But... Uh, Yo, 45 miles per hour? Yeah, that's uh, fast. Uh, yeah, that's crazy fast. Uh, yeah, we ain't running. We hiding. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I think we can maneuver around that. That's not full potential either. That's just like, that's minimal. Yeah, I, I, think, I think we can maneuver around that. There were lighter and faster dinosaurs Those that problems. hunted yeah. in groups. For them, a human would be easy prey. Speed, binocular yeah. vision, excellent oh, yeah, sense of smell, oh, man, night vision, and killer instincts. See, that's tricky, though, because he, he's talking about, you know, dinosaurs 65 million years ago. But humans, if you're talking about us now as people. Right. Yeah, I see that. But we will adapt to other elements yeah. back and this then. This is what I was We'd saying. We'll be stronger, faster, yeah. too. Because we mm -hmm. understand the world. Changing yeah, be like, man, us. I'm finna be go out there. That, that big old T-Rex, bro. Yeah. Like, look. look Setting at, traps. We have athletes or, right now yeah. that are yeah. running at top speed. And, and, and granted, it ain't faster oh, than a T-Rex. Yeah. But 
their physical abilities is different. And mm-hmm. that's in this time. Um, I think we can adjust to it. I think so plus too. Plus it, it plus you know people people adapt to their environments. So it, with a with a world that dangerous, man. Yeah, we'd be a whole different Everybody level. everybody be as big as Shaq. <laughs> Giant right? American paleontologist and evolutionary biologist Stefan Broussat from the University of Edinburgh believes that it would have taken a lot of effort to avoid death. However, predatory dinosaurs would not have been the only problem for humans because there were also herbivores. These were no less dangerous than predators and were quite capable of hitting you with a spiked tail or impaling you with a horn. Simply frightening. Moreover, you might not have noticed and been trampled to death. It's believed that Diplodocus was the size of four elephants. Next to this, a person would feel like a cat next to its owner. Hunting such massive animals would be incredibly difficult. To this day, scientists don't know how strong the skin of dinosaurs was. This means that it's not known whether it could have been pierced with a knife, a spear, or even a bullet. Even if you managed to kill a dinosaur, its smell would attract predators and scavengers. If you stuck around for a long time with a huge piece of raw meat, you'd definitely have been smelled and eaten. This isn't the end of the problem. That's the problem right there. During (laughs) the Jurassic period, the oxygen content in the atmosphere was quite low, about 15%. Today, this figure is 21%. Most likely, modern humans, once the age of the dinosaurs, would have experienced hypoxia. This in turn can develop into altitude sickness, which leads to constant shortness of breath, spatial disorientation, coma, and sometimes death. Mm, but let's say I we disagree, could have man. handled it. I think what we would adjust that. Sources? The human. Yeah, I, I don't like where that's going, bro. Yeah, it, it, I, that's fifty. Yeah, he's that's, ta- he's that's taking. A fatalist he's view. taking humans from now to then. Yeah, right. But you I agree. But yeah, setting. but you. Yeah, if you're if you if you're taking humans now and going back in time, but we talking about if if the extinction level event had never happened, so humans humans coming in at that time dealing with those situations would have had to adapt. Your bodies would change. You'd be able, you your your lungs would operate differently. Yeah, because he's only showing one thing. side of the evolution. Yeah, you're talking about if, if, if yeah. we just went. Yeah, yeah. No, but but your it, it, your bodies would our bodies would be different. That's true. Rough feet, rough feet for real. Body isn't used to the bacteria and microorganisms of the Jurassic. Therefore, a sip of water from any reservoir could be deadly. Today, drinking water undergoes multi-stage treatment, but the risk is still not zero. What can we say about the Jurassic period? Catching a parasite here, or even catching an ancestor of malaria from an ancient midge would have been more than realistic. It's likely that the dinosaurs themselves hosted giant flat and round worms and millions of other parasites that permeated the organisms of ancient reptiles through and through. Don't forget about the various insects or snakes that lurked everywhere. One touch or bite from something wrong could take your life. For example, the web of the giant spider, Nephilia jurassica. God damn. Scientists don't know if it was poisonous, but it's known for sure that it wove a one and a half meter or five foot network of strong golden silk. Perhaps even small dinosaurs got caught in it. I want to see Let's that. Let's now look at what Ooh. humans would have eaten 200 million years ago. Mm. One of the best options would have been eggs. Huge lizard eggs, rich in protein, would have helped satisfy hunger, but you're not the only one who thinks so. Many other dinosaurs like to ravage clutches for a snack. You would have had to act quickly to stay ahead of the competition and not get hurt by the mother. If you weren't able to steal eggs, you would have been able to go fishing. During the Jurassic period, many parts of the current land were flooded. There, in the shallows, in the warm water, many organisms lived, and a special plankton colored the water red. If the blood color didn't scare you, you would have been able to catch a snail, but this would also have been a life-threatening affair. 
The seas and oceans of that era were home to dangerous predators. For example, such as the Liopleurodon. Mm. Its teeth were about 7 centimeters long, or 2.7 inches. If you didn't get away in time, you could have okay. become the prey yourself. And even a vegan diet in the Jurassic period would be a test for a person. At that time, many different plants grew on the earth, but without hints of flowers, berries, or fruit. There was something like the fruit of a modern really ginkgo, but because of the disgusting smell of excrement, you would have hardly been able to eat it. Fungi and seaweed were common there, but none of the species were similar to what humans eat today. This doesn't mean that they were all poisonous. However, you would have only had one chance to find out. At <laughs> real, best, real talk. An unsuccessful experience would have ended in food poisoning. At worst, a painful death. If one human was alive in the Jurassic period, this person would have been doomed to death. Most likely, it would have happened in a couple of days. At the same time, if there were really a lot of people, they would have been able to adapt. However, the go. use of metal would have to be forgotten, even if you brought it with you from modern times. In conditions of high humidity... So he's talking about yeah. going back in time. Exactly. Yeah. I'll roll with you then. Yeah. So All right, the thing about, like... Two days in order, like to like, if you're gonna live or die. What about like natural herbs and like antidotes? Like stuff would be created. Then this is where I go to like thinking on your feet, and then being able to hunt in the sea, but also on land too. But I don't know about creating nothing because you don't know what you can create because the earth is too new. Yeah, so, every, so everything got, is different. Everything yeah, is different. But he, like different foods and stuff that they were talking about. So I guess you would just be trying. That's things. what he said. But he said he, he said, said protein he said it best. as well. But he said if you try it, yeah, you got one shot. So it could backfire. one opportunity. You know what I mean? <laughs> you eat that mushroom. Yeah. You could either be like, mm, this is quite delicious. The, or... the snail. I was looking at the, well, the, I was thinking of the eggs. You said the snail, then the seaweed. Yeah, but mm -hmm. you go in there trying to hunt. Right, right. You become the prey. Yeah. You eat True. that mushroom, and one of three things is going to happen. you either going to be food poisoned, you're going to kick the bucket, or you're going to become an infected. Like, Possibly, I, he's still a mushroom, yeah. man. I don't, I don't trust them, man. I, I love mushrooms, him. bro. I don't trust them. Nope. Put them on my pizza anytime, child. <laughs> nope, uh -uh. I don't want them anywhere near me. <laughs> Is this an interesting uh, conversation? Burn it with way. fire. It would quickly become covered with rust. To get anything on the spot would be simply impossible. It's too hard to work in conditions of a lack of oxygen. But even if they adapted, humans wouldn't be able to live with the dinosaurs in peace. So says biologist and paleontologist Victoria Arbor from the Royal Ontario Museum. Based on our current relationship with large predators such as lions, wolves, and bears, it's clear oh that my. humans <laughs> and predators rarely get along with each other. For example, to protect our homes from wolves, people almost destroyed this animal's entire population in North America. It's unclear whether this would have worked with a predator that's 70 times larger than a wolf. One hope might have been finding a corner of the earth where the dinosaurs and other monsters of the past weren't able to reach us. Despite all the danger and unpredictability of the behavior of ancient animals, scientists have long been trying to resurrect them. Researchers led by geneticist George when would, Church... When would they ever learn? They never learn at Harvard University are trying to insert mammoth genes extracted from ancient DNA into the modern genome of the Asian elephant. If they succeed, these huge woolly creatures may reappear on Earth in a few decades. Scientists are also trying to resurrect the dinosaur, but there's a problem here. These huge lizards have been extinct for too long, and it takes a lot of work to get their DNA. However, in a sense, dinosaurs still live side by side with us. There it is. Crocodiles, birds, and turtles are all descendants of ancient lizards that managed to evolve Didn't and it? survive to the present day. So, you can touch the story at any time. Just reach out your hand.
All of the information I've used to create this video is current at the time of its release. Perhaps after a while, scientists will find other facts that will completely change our understanding of the Jurassic period. But this is the beauty of science, constantly searching for the truth and learning something new about the world around us. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell to receive timely notifications of the release of... There it is, y'all. Whoop, there it is, y'all. All right, I want to talk about this. Because I, I, I agree, but I disagree. And like I told y'all before, I, I believe anything you want me to believe. As long as there's a steady paycheck involved, I believe it. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. The proper answer. Um... Just don't let this heck bounce. <laughs> I see what he's saying, but I believe it's true if he was to take us from this time because we are nowhere near even how a man was made 50 years ago. Right. We're right. not technically, in my eyes, we're not superior to our grandfathers. No. We're not. They were built way better than we built. Yeah. That, like, those conditions, how they were living, they have ACs and cars and all, they had to walk and do all this. they're built way different than we were survival instinct well mm -hmm. we are you know what i mean yeah. um so in the sense of taking us back in time yes i believe if you was to take us back in time 65 million years hell if you took us back in time two thousand years ago we would get extremely sick because mm -hmm. we have to adjust to the air the the the, the germs mm -hmm. uh uh the way of life like mm -hmm. just everything is different yep you know what i mean even eating the food, we can get yeah, sick because our stomach won't be able to tolerate it. tolerate it. Now, granted, we when we were born in the 80s, you know, they poked us with a lot of stuff, you mm -hmm. know, the, the vac vaccines and stuff to prevent us from a lot of illnesses that that had came previous years before. You yeah. know what I mean? So, like, you got the hepatitis yeah. shots and, and, yeah. and polio and all that stuff like that. Influenza. So, so a lot of that stuff we already got in our system to fight off those germs. And that's like going 2,000 years back. Yeah. We're going further back than that? We're going, but, but what I'm saying is going 65 million years back, just taking us back in time. Yes, the oxygen would mess us up. But I think, I think we would die. Yeah. If you take us back in time, bam, dead. Because dead on arrival because you can't. You, our have, body, no, you have no time to adapt. Our, our, no time to adapt. We have to be literally in a spacesuit or something like that. You're in enemy lines, basically. Yeah, yeah. to adapt. With nothing. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're you're behind enemy lines in a place where it's hard to breathe, with 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 oxygen levels that's lower than that's lower than than Denver. Like you can't drink the water really because you don't know what's lurking in the water. Exactly. Because back then, you know, the animals pooped, yeah. peed, made love, Bled. did everything in that yeah, water. Everything was yeah. done in the water. So it's like, ew. Yeah. And you drinking that? You're done. We got nothing to sterilize it because you got no metal to, to boil it. Mm -hmm. So you got nothing to, you know what I mean? Yeah. You Can't, got nothing. You ain't got no pot. You ain't, you, 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 like. you ain't got a pot to piss in. Mm -hmm. You know, so. That's scary. You're, not a, you're in a setting that you're not really used to, so you kind of have to kind of be in survival mode. But if you haven't lived that lifestyle, you don't understand the process that goes with that. Yeah, yeah It's exactly. pretty crazy. Yeah. Now, on the other hand, I'm being born 65 million years ago. Mm -hmm. I think we will survive. Yeah. And I think we will survive in a manner where we will have the sense of awareness to what is what and how it goes down. And I mean, I say that in the sense of we will go up high. Mm -hmm. We will probably be in caves, you know, mountains, places where they places reach. where less creatures will be there. That will be a threat and cold blooded areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you know, what I mean, it, it, it you will you will find your way because dinosaurs did that, too. Yeah, there's stegosaurus and, and triceratops and stuff like that that are massive and big. But we don't know if you can even befriend an animal like that. Right, right. Because we befriend animals now. Yeah. People talk to elephants and, yeah. and befriend and them and, and wolves giraffes and, and wolves and, tigers and train them and all that. Yeah, so what's to say we... we, we yeah. Now, I ain't going to say we're going to do a T-Rex. But what's to say hmm. that a, a, a plant eater, things like that, we wouldn't be able to befriend. Like, people don't know raptors were the size of turkeys. They weren't eight-foot-tall dinosaurs. So you just say I wouldn't train them things. They were smart. Right. Yeah. They could possibly be trainable. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about blue. Hey, hey, we're not talking about that. We're talking about real raptors. Yeah. So I, I, I see I see humans, you know, it's funny because they talk about cavemen. But I see humans surviving and evolving and becoming stronger and understanding their their 
domain. I don't see them building temples and buildings on stuff like that because that would have to do with the the the, the separation of of how the the, the pillars and everything separated, yeah. where you can have time to grow and be con and, and be able to conquer over one dinosaur. And that would also take away from the survival element too. Yeah. 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 You're building, it, you out here trying to hunt, and survive. And yeah, it'd be hard. It'd be really hard. There, yeah. Because right. a, a T Rex while rocking your village. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, but I think we would we would move up high. We wouldn't we wouldn't we wouldn't lie low. Uh, and when we and when and when we uh, 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 hunted in the water, I think we would do things where we would plant certain fish or certain things, throw it a distance to make sure all the other prey goes over there while we can be able to gather. Our, mm -hmm. I think we got enough sense than that. Yeah. I remember a giants. time where, <laughs> well, you know what I mean, but that's just my take. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Um, like if you, yeah, because if you, if you plan us, take us now and put us there, it's a wrap. It's, I also think, because I'm of the mind initially that if that humans and dinosaurs is a horrible mix, right? Uh, you, you're. Cause, cause humans, to use an analogy, humans like certain humans like to walk around like junior high school principals, thinking they're the baddest people walking around the planet. Um, you ain't gonna do that with no dinosaur. I'm like, well, it, 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 cause it's, it's a, it's, it's. So you got you got the Triceratops and you got your T Rex, but but they also didn't cover you is. You got your you got your flying dinosaurs. You got your pterodactyls, and you, you uh, the megalodon and they daddy whatever that came before it. But it's also God. I mean, okay. <laughs> but it's also like <laughs> so it's it's incredibly dangerous. So if you if you what I'm saying if you have civil if you have people born in that time, I think their bodies would adapt. I think they would grow. They would be bigger than us. They would be naturally stronger and faster than us yeah. in order to survive that. Their their lung capacity would be different because the air is thinner. So they would they would be able to able to hold their breath longer. They'd be able to run faster. That's interesting. Everything about them would be enhanced compared to us. So yeah. breathing mechanism like it, would change. Like like that is not an, their oxygen. Yeah. That is that is not an environment conductive to weakness. Yeah, and, and, and I say that because this world now is conductive to weakness. It's yeah, well, we got a lot of stuff that's keeping us. <laughs> right. We got a lot of stuff keeping us down, yeah. you know, from our food, from the the pollution in the air and everything. We got to talk about pure air, y'all. We talking about the 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 most pollution you'll get is probably uh, 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 vapors from uh, uh, um, the, the 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 tar pits or or the volcano, the ashes, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. things like that. Just typical, you know, earthly poisons, yeah. but. You you're right. Oh. I think that the human body would grow. At least I think the average person would probably be about eight foot. Yeah. Eight foot, seven feet tall. Yeah, a bunch of shacks. And Due to the environment <laughs> and, and the their environment. survival element. Yeah. yeah, they're naturally gonna be that. You'll be able to take a hit. Yeah. Like that that that, that uh, triceratops. I ain't talking about with the spikes, but I'm talking about just like hit you with a tail, like whip you, bow. Yeah. You better take. Oh, that's all you got, little homie. Yeah, you know what I mean. Much. I think the body would adjust to that. I think the average size female would be six five, six six, almost uh, well, you know, yeah. six eight, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. I think I think yeah. we would have have grown massively because if you look at human humanity now, since the last fifty years, man has gotten shorter. Yeah, yeah. Like all my uncles are like six seven, bro. Like they all giants. And yeah, and that's what, and like even when we was in even when we was in high school, I remember I had a. This is why I think I'm short because I have I have a bunch of upper class and, and mind you I was I was running around with the athletes. These dudes were huge, yeah, and okay. I was me. <laughs> like, I was small. Yeah. But like, so you're so comparing and contrasting now, though. Yeah, yeah so I'm talking was, about time though. Yeah, yeah. and time like like our grandfathers and even like Big Mama like they were they much bigger than than a lot of uh, than yeah. the girls now. They were stark. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? They they were they were built different. Yeah. And that's due to the work that they had to do and put in. Yeah, right? the, the conditions were different. It yeah. all comes down to the setting that you're in. I so, think. Yeah. I, I think. Yeah. I, I think we would be alright. Yeah, I think. I think. We'd be as, right. I think as people, bo people born there, their bodies would adapt, and their and their environments, their communities would adapt to that environment. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be. I think it would be if they survived the initially and was able to come together and form them communities, it would be something like a uh, Monster Hunter World or. Something like that, where yeah. you gotta you gotta survive in nature, and all. So you gotta build your communities to be able to withstand that. But they're also gonna be like, okay, 
this big dinosaur is a bunch of food for the whole village. Let's get it. There it is. <laughs> Life finds a way. So does humans. All right. Dr. Malcolm. Yeah. All right. Uh, so remember everything you remember in Jurassic Park now. All right. Um, <laughs> but it's not Welcome. about us. It's about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all think about uh, this video and, and what's your take on it. It's no right or wrong answer. It's all just having fun. It's just talking. Just having a discussion. Learning each other. Learning what people's heads are at. You know what I mean? So I'm I wanna, waiting for those comments. Yeah, I want to know what y'all thought Somebody about was it. I was this there during the prehistory time. Really? Where are them documents at? I, I want to know <laughs> what do you guys, how you guys feel about it in the comments down below. Do you guys think human, humanity would be able to survive if you took us from now to then? And if... if I want to know that answer, and then if you grew up there, how would we survive? Put in the comments down below. You know what I mean? I wouldn't mind. That'd be an interesting read. I want to read these. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'll be there for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you're new to the channel, go ahead and press the subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm J3. Run the show. Woo! Ninjas. It's your boy C. Road to 100,000 subscribers, y'all.